Cuba was once home to one of the largest Chinese communities in the Americas, outside of San Francisco. More than a century ago, thousands of Chinese arrived on the island to work as indentured labor, building railroads and replacing slaves in the sugar and coffee plantations. Much about their daily lives in Cuba had been lost to history until recent restoration began on a cathedral built in the 1900s. There, workers discovered something remarkable under centuries-old paint. Our correspondent Michael Voss has the story. Cienfuegos was one of Cuba's wealthiest cities back in the 19th century. Its natural harbor on the central southern coast placed it at the heart of the sugar trade at a time when Cuba was one of the largest producers in the world. Today, this bustling city of some 150,000 people is helping rediscover some of the secrets of this island's past. Eight years ago, Cienfuegos began a major restoration program after UNESCO declared its 19th century city center a World Heritage Site. The main square boasts grand public buildings like the town hall, an impressive library, and a rare example of an intact and working period theater. The latest project is restoring the cathedral, and this is where the surprises began. As workmen stripped away the original plaster to expose the brickwork beneath, they discovered that some of the columns were covered in Chinese calligraphy in what appears to be an early form of graffiti. The church contacted Mary Perez, head of architectural investigations for the city historian's office. And these are what, 150 years old? They still haven't managed to fully translate the calligraphy, but with the help of some Chinese students studying Spanish at a local university, they were able to build a picture of what was going on. They think that this is where construction of the original part of the cathedral first began. This one says, work open, good luck. One of the writings they think is a poem, though it's yet to be identified. While another appears to refer to a person of a certain hierarchy, but it's unclear whether this refers to the construction team or not. What is clear is that one part of what is now the cathedral was used as a kitchen or works canteen while the rest was being built. The writings are about keeping the place clean and washing your hands. Even in these early days, Mary Perez believes the Chinese were running the kitchens, producing food. Very important, there was a part dedicated Todo indica que era dedicada a la cocina porque quedaban restos de la pared quemada y él la llamaba a la limpieza, a lavarse las manos, es decir, que tenían toda una organización dentro del proceso constructivo. The Bishop of Cienfuegos, Monsignor Domingo Oropesa, believes this must be one of the earliest precursors of Chinese restaurants in Cuba. Fue al comienzo de la construcción de la ciudad, porque cuando se diseña eh, la ciudad, lo primero de lo primero que se habla es de la construcción de un templo. Pues estaban ya los chinos preparando los menús. Se ve que los chinos, posiblemente alguno trabajó también la construcción, pero lo que sí tenían claro era que sin ellos la construcción no se podía seguir porque sin alimento el trabajador cae. The discovery of the Chinese graffiti has prompted a re-examination of the records dating back to the period. El conocimiento de los chinos en Cienfuegos pues era muy escaso y eh, este descubrimiento nos motivó o hizo o nos obligó a la búsqueda de información de su presencia en el siglo XIX en Cienfuegos. David Martinez is a local historian employed by the city to go through the archives in search of references to the Chinese community. The first shipment of Chinese arrived in Cuba in 1847, brought in initially to work alongside the slaves in the sugar and coffee plantations. 
Over the next 30 years, an estimated 150,000 were shipped to this Caribbean island, almost all of them men. They came on eight-year contracts, but were often forced into other jobs when these expired. This paper from 1868 is advertising indentured Asian laborers for sale for agricultural work. In these records of 1864, David Martinez discovered just how badly the Chinese workers were treated. Que tenía el gobierno para dedicarlo a las obras públicas. Era una fuente de obra, eh, lo hacían gratis. Después que terminaban sus contratos de trabajo, pues no le pagaban. He then read me a section about how the Chinese were used to build the gardens in one of the main squares. Los asiáticos al depósito de cimarrones, que aun cuando sin la inteligencia y habilidades convenientes, suplían aquella plaza y economizaban el sueldo al municipio. No lo pagaban, they didn't pay them. No, no le pagaban porque al ayuntamiento le, le convenía ahorrar ese dinero y bueno, era también una muestra, es una muestra de esa explotación a la que eran sometidos que eran tratados como esclavos eh, aquí en, en Cuba, en la Cuba del siglo XIX. There are still Chinatowns in Havana and a few other Cuban cities, but these were mainly developed by later immigrants who arrived in the 20th century. Very few ethnic Chinese Cubans remain. Almost all of the original laborers shipped here during the 19th century were men who ended up marrying former slaves. Today, their presence can be seen in the thousands of Cubans with a mixture of black and Chinese features. In Cienfuegos, the newly discovered graffiti is one of the very few traces of the Chinese presence there. There are no surviving records of the construction of the cathedral. This was a church as much as a municipal-funded project, so we don't know if the Chinese workers were paid or not. Gracias a los chinos por sus grafitos eh, y que decirle que lo recordamos con cariño. Vamos a procurar que se conserven a la vista de todos aquellos que visiten la catedral, eh, si Dios quiere, una vez que esté completamente restaurada. What the Cuban historians would now like to discover is just what role, if any, Chinese laborers played in the 19th century in the construction of other public buildings throughout the island. Our thanks to Michael Voss for that report from Cienfuegos, Cuba.